What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron Itmar. Welcome back to some more. Let's play Sonic Unleashed. In this episode, um, I don't remember what we do because this is this is all post commentated because I lost the um, the audio files and it, they just went corrupt and it wasn't a very good site. So this is all uh, post commentated. So I don't remember what we do. I know we do a couple of nighttime levels. Um, so let's see. Windmill Isle, Night Stage, Hill Beneath Starry Skies, so, we, let's, let's get going here, um, this one has a little bit of everything in it, it's got a lot of the items, it's got a lot of the, uh, the secret little areas where you can get goo, um, and, not only goo, but also Gaia Force, um, I still want to know what the difference is, I know that, um, Okay, there's for there's force and then there's like Gaia force. The force is what you use. Oh, I don't even know. All I know is the blue stuff is what you use in level. It resets at the end of every level. The red stuff is what you collect that lets you power up your moves and get more moves. So that's that's a difference. Um, I I'm, I I swear I I knew what the difference was earlier on, but I just don't right now. I just don't understand. I mean, I can tell the, the different the color difference. Oh, and right here, as you can see, we're using uh, Unleashed mode. This is a mode where all of your uh, your abilities are boosted by like three times as powerful. Um, and there are like the regular moves that you use are far more upgraded. Like, uh, um, there's one move where you you flail your arms back and forth, and that's what like hits every uh hits every enemy instead of. So instead of one hit or two hits, possibly, you could get about six or seven hits. So that's a really good move. Um, and here we've got the little lock and key style thing. Find the three keys. Um, but yes, with Unleash mode, um, the one disadvantage is as soon as you use it, um, there's no going back. So you use it until your your uh, your unleashed or your force bar force bar is uh, is empty. And once it's empty, then uh, you can't use Unleash mode anymore. So use it wisely because uh, if you don't have any force left over, uh, or like you can't like stop it midway, so you can't like take out a bunch of enemies and turn off unleash mode. It's either you, you use it and then you it's it's gone until you get more force to use, or uh, you just don't use it at all. And there are some cases where using it um, is good thing, is a good thing rather, um, because like there are some enemies that take a long time to to kill by yourself. So, um, so it's a really good idea to use Unleashed on, like, the really Unleashed mode on the really big enemies, um, because that's when, uh, when you'll, you'll need it the most, because they can really take out your health, and so you want to be taking out their health as, as quickly or quicker, at a quicker rate than they are, so that's, that's where the advantage of Unleashed mode comes in. So, here we go again. Uh, I don't think I use Unleashed mode here. No, I don't. Uh, this is just one of those, they threw in a lot of these little random, uh, enemy, like, drop zones, I guess you could call them. I'm not sure why, other than to collect more Gaia Force, and to get your, more familiarized with the, uh, um, the, the controls. But I know why they did it, I just realized why they did it there. It's because this is such a, a huge, um, unleashed force, uh, area that, that they wanted, uh, you to have some form of a challenge before you got there. And remember, all of this counts towards your time limit, so you're still trying to make that S rank. So, um, so all of this stuff, if you don't do it quick enough, can really damp put a damper in on your uh, your ranking. But luckily, in the nighttime stages, um, your rank is dependent on more than just your time. Unlike in the daytime stages, where it's just time and everything is time. So. There's the second key, and then, of course, they threw in a little boss gauntlet here, or enemy gauntlet. I want to call them enemy drop zones, but they don't drop out of the sky. Whenever I think of a drop zone, I think of, like, in Wind Waker at the very beginning, where you, uh, where you you go and save Tetra in the tree, and then that enemy drops out of nowhere with the bird. Yeah, that's, that's what I think of when I think of drop zone. Just, I don't know why. And speaking of Zelda, I have been playing a lot of it lately. Um, I beat Skyward Sword, uh, like, it took me a total of two weeks to beat it, uh, just because it came out when I was in school. If it had come out, like, two weeks later, I'd have had all winter break to do it, and that would have been great for me. 
but I've played, uh, I beat Skyward Sword, not 100%, I beat it like 75%. I like to do a, a dry run, you know, completely blind, and then I like to do a 100% run after that later. Um, so I've played Skyward Sword, and now I'm playing through Majora's Mask, and, uh, I'm, I'm exactly halfway through, uh, Ikana Temple. Um, cause I, I got the light arrows, and I switched, on uh, flipped the, uh, flipped the, uh, temple upside down. And then I, I decided to I needed to record this because I I haven't un uploaded Sonic Unleashed in a while. So, but that's what I that's what I've been doing with games. Uh, I've also been playing when um, I'm not at home. I've been playing Spirit Tracks, and uh, see I've been going just Zelda crazy. I posted on Twitter that uh, I've been going very Zelda crazy lately, and it is true. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna beat Majora's Mask this week, and then I'm gonna move on to Wind Waker. Um, because I've never 100%ed that game, um, and I have a really bad habit of starting through a, a game to 100% it, but then I just sort of stop. Uh, so this is when I, uh, I, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna actually beat Wind Waker 100% this time. I've beaten it really close to 100%. Like I got a lot of the items, just a lot of the heart pieces I just didn't go for. But I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna go for it this time. You know, maybe a, a let's play uh, practice run. You never know. And I do believe I use Unleashed mode here, just to beat this guy, because this guy is a pain. I was making sure there's no more enemies, and then going for Unleashed mode. See, that? that's like a double hit. That should... See? So look, look, it took two mo two attacks to kill him. But now the disadvantage is I'm going to be sitting here and running around with Unleashed mode for the next 30 seconds. Like, it's a, such a waste of the power. That was one thing I, I wish they did. That they made it so it, uh... Um... You could turn it on and off as you wished, but it also makes sense that they don't want you to abuse it so much that every enemy you use Unleashed for, so, or, uh, the Unleashed mode on. So, there we go. Stage clear. How do you like that, huh? And... Star, star... Star s rank. that's right. s rank that mother... Mother trucker. There you go, stage complete, and... Let's see, what did we get? I think we get a new move here. Yes, skill training. Sinbaddy, Skyward, the guff a combo. So it shoots him high, and then you can, like, jump in the air and smack him down. So that's that's a nice uh, effect of that. And that's it. Let's see, we got Secret Illustration 26, 65, and some other stuff. I'll show those off later. Tails? Sonic? What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix this, <laughs> and <laughs> fast. About that, I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Oh, really? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. Spagonia. That's a continent over. An easy jog if the planet weren't broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going. Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving.
And that's how Tails gets randomly tossed into the game. Yeah. So now we can go to the, uh, the what's it called the planet, the not planet, the, the continent, Spagonia. Um, and this introduces the world map concepts. Uh, now we can visit any uh, any uh, planet we want, or not any. Oh my gosh, no, they're not planets, they're continents. And uh, we can go and select if we want to go to the village, which is a little hub menu thing, or select the stage, or go straight to the Gaia Gate. Um, and I'm going to go back and see if there are any stages we can do in Apodos before we start the next, uh, the next, uh, continent here. They're continents, Aaron. They're not planets. They're continents. Alright, so all the ones that have a little, uh, any medals next to them, it means we completed them. So let's see. There is a new, uh, daytime stage and I believe probably a new nighttime stage. Oh, several new nighttime stages. Oh, I think these are just tutorials. These are just tutorials. So let me go ahead and do the daytime stage first. Uh, reach the goal unscathed. It's another challenge. Basically, you cannot take a single damage. If you get hit once, you fail the the thing. So we're gonna have some fun, fun watching Aaron fail at Sonic Unleashed. Hooray! All right. Oh, this is the boss fight. This should be easy. All right. Yeah, this this will be very easy. I say that, and I'm gonna get uh, hurt like the first time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This way. Oh yeah. We also have a time limit, so if we don't, we'll, we'll definitely make the time limit because it's an auto run level, so I don't have to do anything but you know run. I just have to sit here and hit L and R. It does all the running for me, which is nice. Otherwise, I wouldn't pass this. Whoa! What? What was that? Yeah, it's basically I just do it over again. I didn't take damage the first time, so it's very easy to not take damage at all. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Middle. Boom. There we go. Speeding our, speeding our way down the, the highway. The Spagonia Highway. This kind of reminds me of what the Autobahn would look like. Just a gigantic thing. So now we've taken no damage. Now we just have to, you know, make it make it to the uh, the end ring and now we've got plenty of boost left so we can uh, get this going pretty quick here and boom I bet we go past it oh no a lot of times you'll go past it and you have to like turn around so a lot of times it like messes up your score because I always go down to the wire on that level Alright, so there's another moon medal. I don't think I've actually gotten all of the moon medals before. Or all of the medals in general before. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next, uh... I guess I'll just go ahead and finish the video up with these last, uh, ones. Um, I, I might eventually go back and do that. I just had a horrible time on that one. Um, Alright, these ones are tutorials teaching you Claw, Werewolf, Unleash Mode, and bigger combos, so... Let's go. We're already playing the game. We don't have to start game. We have to start level or stage or whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Put your new ability to the test. Press L or R while dashing. And unleash mode the same controls produce a different move the claw charge. It's just teaching us the move I already explained. But I want I do want to get the metal from it. Wow, that was it? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh well, free sun metal for us. I didn't even get anything. Alright, I went ahead and cut out all the, the going back to the world map, because that takes way too long. So we're going to start with the Werewallop. Press the L button and R button together after the second hit in a combo. Using combos on enemies that have been hit by Werewallop will do more damage than a normal attack. The same controls produce a different move when you're in uh, Unleashed mode. So what you want to do is you want to go... We'll, we'll try and uh, slow this down. One, you want to go, let's see. One, two, up. And that's what, after you hit 1, 2, and then you hit uh, L and R at the same time, and it shoots him in the sky. And it does actually a lot more damage than it would ordinarily, and it's uh, actually a really good technique. So that's that's good for that. Alright, so we're going to learn about Unleash Mode, which we already learned about. Your attacks get way so the Unleash, bullet, Unleash Gauge is the blue one underneath the, your health bar. Um, and when you hit Y... You go, ah, and you go Super Saiyan mode, and you do a bunch of awesome stuff. 
So like if I go one, two, ah, oh, that's what the wear wallop would have been. Or if you go like this, you go. That's what the the dash would have been. That's just alternating all, L and R. It, they do like a ton of damage. And let's get going here. Like I said, the only problem is you can't like turn off unleashed mode. So when you when you try and turn off when you like use unleashed mode, it's there for good until you just run out, which kind of sucks. But I mean, hey, what are you what are you gonna do? And now we're gonna learn how to string together a bigger combo. Put your new ability to the test. I don't know what this one actually is, you so it's probably good. You can move you just learned to keep your attack going. Which if one? You can chain your attacks together. You might. Shrine on L. All right, R. Okay, we use R and L. Alternate R and L to really get a five hit combo. Oh man, I've been doing this the whole time. What you what you thinking? All right, come at me. That's it. And that's all of the the medals done. Uh, I might eventually go back and get that one sun medal from the Werehog stage I did in S rank. But other than that, we pretty much perfected this entire uh, world, or this entire continent. So thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. The next episode will be traveling to Spagonia. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And someday this world will be not filled with lava at the center. I don't know why the lava didn't go with the world. Like, does, like the lava doesn't stay there. It's, it's not like, I mean, the core would come apart if the earth came apart, but you know. Oh, logic doesn't apply at all. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.